Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control, and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hey guys, welcome back to Kelsey's Corner Booth. So I found this crib on a curb in my neighborhood. It's a mini crib and I'm making this over for my sister-in-law's daughter, my niece. So, um, but it was in really, really good condition. Nothing really wrong with it except for this little piece right here that you see me kind of wood putting over. And I let it dry for a whole day came back to it and realized it was completely split in half I didn't really I just thought it was like a big crack so I ended up which I didn't get on footage um, I ended up putting wood wood filler or I mean sorry Gorilla Glue um, in between the little pieces and then I clamped it together which you'll see right now and then I just came back with the wood filler again and once I sanded it down and everything, you can't even tell it was even there. So I think that was a job well done for me. <laughs> mm. So right here I started with a 220, but I ended up changing to the 80 about a little after this part because I just liked the um, end results better. Um, so you'll see me once I take it apart and everything. That's about when I changed it. Y'all, the blonde really came out on this one. You're going to see me struggle with this crib. And its I was laughing on the inside. I was like, what in the world is going on with my life right now? Um, so yeah, that's me just struggling with the crib. And so I, my brain was just, it was hot. And I was tired. And my brain just like shut off. And then finally you'll see me figure it out and be like, oh yeah, okay, let's do this. <laughs> so, mama of four here, my brain is fried sometimes. So, sometimes I just have to be patient with myself, just like I'm patient with my kids, and know that the job will get done eventually. <laughs>
bidding starts at a thousand dollars. Anybody want it? <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm contemplating on whether hand painting or using a spray gun. I want to use my spray gun because I just found it in our garage, surprising what your husband has in all of his tools when you clean out the garage. <laughs> um, so, but I think I'm going to put it back together without the like little wood that the bed would lay on. So I don't spray paint that, but I'm going to put these pieces back together spray paint it, let it fully dry, then take it apart, put the little wood back in, and then call it a day. Because I don't want to spray paint each inv individual piece and that just would take longer. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So we have this little mask that's broken, so but it'll do. Don't worry about it. And then I'm gonna mix this paint and this um, top coat. So it's kind of like a two for one deal. And then I'm gonna use this. I've never used this before, so today will be the first time using it. I'm excited. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Who knows? In the next clip, I'm gonna show you the color that I used and down in the video will be the exact like numbers and everything. So I think trying to pour this into the little cup is not gonna do it. So I'm gonna use an old measuring cup that I can just throw in my paint stuff. I mean, you can get a whole pack of these for like a dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree. So I'm not worried about it. If I need more.
how beautiful it came out guys my sister-in-law picked out such a beautiful color she actually picked it out because my other sister-in-law sings it to my niece so I think it was such a beautiful meaning behind it all and you can't go wrong with a little life in pink So I did a little rough sanding on the surface of this just to make sure the paint stuck to it. Um, I grabbed any white paint I had in my little paint stash in the garage. I did two coats of the white and then I did about two to three coats of the pink. I wanted to make sure it was just really solid looking good. Y'all, Lord knows I measured. I thought I was doing it right, but I was definitely not. <laughs> I can tell where I messed up. They are crooked. But you know what? We're not perfect around here. And it looked great. My sister-in-law loved it. And it's okay. That's all that matters. I really hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It will help me a lot. Thank you so much. Bye.